Keisha James. What the people who study viruses still want to know about the newest COVID-19 variant. I'm Mike Marillo. And what D.C. police say led to an officer opening fire in southeast overnight. It's 8 o'clock. This is CBS News on the Hour, sponsored by Dell Small Business. I'm Wendy Gillette in New York. It's a race to figure out if vaccines will protect against the new COVID variant that has brought travel bans around the world, including in the U.S. CBS News correspondent Michael George reports. Health officials want to determine if the Omicron variant makes people more ill than the predominant Delta strain and whether vaccines will remain as effective. Uh, there are about 30 mutations in the spike protein and about 10 mutations are on the edge of the spike protein, which allows the virus attached to the body. And that might make it stickier and make it look different enough so that antibodies from the vaccine or from natural immunity don't recognize it. Two flights arriving to the Netherlands from South Africa were caught in the middle of a travel ban there. 61 of the passengers on board tested positive for COVID. The BBC's Anna Holligan is in Amsterdam. They were in the air when the travel ban was imposed. Around 600 passengers arrived at Schiphol from Cape Town and Johannesburg. After being held on the planes for hours, they were allowed to disembark to be tested. They'll be placed in quarantine eventually at a hotel near the airport while the authorities investigate whether they're infected with the new Omicron variant. The South African government says the country is being unfairly targeted. Dr. Sunjun Gogu. The South African government was very transparent uh, with the entire world about this variant, and their scientists have been forthcoming in providing uh, data to epidemiologists, public health experts, and doctors. And I think that's so important. A storm is hitting parts of the Midwest and Northeast just as holiday travelers return home. CBS News meteorologist Jeff Berardelli. We head into tomorrow, tomorrow night, and Monday morning. In total, we're going to see several inches of snow across the Northeast. So if you're traveling, just be aware it could be snowy or icy roads up there. It is Small Business Saturday. Bruce Marcus is in Wisconsin. Small businesses are especially important in northern Wisconsin, where many rural communities don't have big stores. Jessica Drawmeyer owns Traditions, a furniture store in Saner. Local individuals are amazing in their support. Jennifer Bauman owns the Northland Clothing Company in Three Lakes. Bauman says small stores like hers lack the quantity of the big stores, but make up for that in quality. We own the business and we also work here, so it is a little more personable. Bruce Marcus for CBS News, Eagle River, Wisconsin. In-person shopping was up on Black Friday this year. This is CBS News. It's Dell Technologies biggest business sale of the year with Black Friday deals on Windows 11 PCs. Call 877 ask Dell. Dell Technologies recommends Windows 11 Pro for business. It's 803. It's Saturday, the 27th day of November 2021. 41 degrees right now, going down to the 30s overnight. Not as cold as last night. And good Saturday evening. I'm Dell Walters. The top local stories we're following for you at this hour. The vice president showing some support for local D.C. businesses on Small Business Saturday, showing up at D.C.'s downtown holiday market. She bought three maps from a D.C.-based vendor. She got D.C., L.A., where Doug is from, and San Francisco, because we don't have Oakland yet, but we will be on that right away, Madam Vice President. Elise Foster from Territory Maps and Goods says the vice president showing her support for local businesses on Small Business Saturday was very welcome. The VP wasn't the only one. Hundreds were out braving the cold looking to buy holiday gifts. I like to support people who are doing their own thing, who are being creative, who are thinking outside of the box. Simi Ram Reimer says it just feels much more personal gifting from a local artist than giving something she bought from a big chain. And what can you buy? Well, aside from those maps, there are dozens of vendors selling everything from handmade pottery, babushka dolls, to soap and spices. The market will be open until the week of Christmas. Shana Stuman, WTOP News. And today we heard from some of those small business owners in D.C. as the nation celebrates Small Business Saturday. Everybody thinks of the big box stores, but small businesses really power our economy. Among
Maya Smith, co-founder of the Brown Beauty Co-op located in DuPont Circle, says she's happy that Small Business Saturday has become a staple of the holidays. It's great for small business to have a piece of like this huge retail opportunity. Kimberly Smith is the owner of Marjani Beauty and also co-founded the Brown Beauty Co-op. She says Small Business Saturday is a reminder to people in the community. We're competing against huge department stores and it's a reminder for people to realize that you can still go into small businesses and get everything that you need. Acacia James, WTOP News. And some of those local businesses say they want some national attention. For a lot of small companies and a lot of small brands, the holiday season really is a critical season for them. It's sort of make or break. Elizabeth Brotherton Bunch is a spokeswoman for the Alliance for American Manufacturing. And supporting local jobs, supporting entrepreneurship. You know, it's kind of do a little bit more with your money. That group has put out its annual Made in America Holiday Gift Guide, and it features companies from around the DMV. Their pick in Maryland is a company that make wooden cutting boards. That's really cool, and they have been profiled by Oprah and a number of other brands. And we have, of course, picks from Virginia. Including a shop made in Virginia store in Old Town Alexandria, which only features things made in the Commonwealth. That store opened by the same people behind a similar one in D.C. John Doman, WTOP News. Now to that new coronavirus variant. We still don't know much about it. it comes to several countries are trying to make sure that they don't find out the hard way. The concern is that it may not only be better at infecting people, but also have an easier time avoiding an immune response. But Dr. Andrew Pikash, a virologist with Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, says... This virus won't be able to completely evade the immune response induced by vaccines. He says what we still don't know. How efficiently this variant transmits in the human population. That means we still need to pay close attention to case numbers over the next week or so before we can really be firm about what a threat uh, this variant is globally. Mike Marillo, WTOP News. And still ahead, the First Lady welcomes Christmas to the White House. Set your calendar. It's going to happen on Monday. It's 8.06. Moments. They surround us, intersecting every day, every instant. Moments that can change us forever. In a region where news is never ending, a singular sound defines our moments. A constant signal delivering the top news right at your fingertips when you need it most. For better, for worse, always connected. Our legacy is the future and we'll never miss a moment. WTOP News, 103.5 FM. Are you single and surviving this pandemic all alone? Do you wonder how you're going to meet new people and even date as the world begins to open back up? Are you over online dating and virtual gatherings? Then it's time you join My Social Calendar. My Social Calendar is a nationwide events club for singles that's been around for 10 years. You can meet people face to face while hiking, hot air ballooning, going to cooking classes, or attending a wine tasting. You name it. Best of all, it's better than online dating. My Social Calendar plans over 20 events a month for single people to get out of the house and make new friends. Seriously, when was the last time you went out and had a blast and everyone was single like you? The only Wendy's serves a better breakfast with a better biscuit. Our hot buttery breakfast biscuits are loaded with a fresh cracked egg, cheese, and your choice of bacon or sausage. And right now at Wendy's, they're only a buck each. Wendy's breakfast biscuits, just a dollar. So don't take a chance with those other guys. Bet your buck on a better breakfast with Wendy's bacon or sausage egg and cheese biscuit. Choose wisely. Choose Wendy's. Limited time only. A participating Wendy's offer only applies to bacon or sausage egg and cheese biscuits. Limit five qualifying items per transaction and per person per day. Not valid in a combo. There's only one place to find the most recognized brand in carpet, Stainmaster, and that's at Lowe's. Right now, get free basic installation with the purchase of Stainmaster carpet and pad, $4.99 or more. Lowe's, home to any budget, home to any possibility. Install available in-store only. Requires non-refundable site assessment fee. Fee is credited to final project price if bought through Lowe's. More charges may apply. Not available in all areas. See Lowe's.com for details, exclusions, and licensure. Valid 219 through 413, U.S. only.